So here is the uh, 555 chip as a uh, timer for my colloidal silver maker and uh, the 555 chip, 555 chip is uh, supplying the timer. Uh, it's got um, every like four seconds I got it set right now. Uh, I think I'll, I'm going to be happy with that. Uh, it's supplying uh, on off uh, trigger signal to the relay. It's a double pull double throw and uh, I'm switching the uh, reversing the the, uh, the polarity with that and then I'm supplying the uh, constant current uh, with this module um, constant current module and I uh, just finished up my fan this is oh, not fan but magnetic stir so it turned out real good nice runs nice and cool no matter how how uh, fast or slow I make it so I'm real happy with it and uh, works pretty good. I'm getting good, real good constant signal. Negative 1.5, positive 1.5, negative 1.5, positive 1.5. So it's reversing the polarity perfect, which is great for colloidal silver rods to prevent buildup. Constant current will help give me uh, reduced uh, particle size of the colloidal silver, make better colloidal silver, clear. And uh, we can turn this around. Yeah, these uh, two modules, once I get the, the Gerber files for this guy, I'll have him set up and we'll start producing him. And uh, we'll leave him like he is and we'll install those in here along with the voltage regulator and other stuff here. And uh, let me show you how this guy works. Here he goes. He's really surprised how well this works because I wanted something that could move really slow. I don't have any water in it right now, of course, but uh, it looks like it's going to work just fine. We can increase the speed. It can go pretty fast. <laughs> it's going bug, going wacky now. <laughs> so, anyways. Yeah, it's working out real good. If I want to increase or decrease my my current right now, I've got it on voltage. I can do this because I've got the multimeter set up for for voltage. I'll just give her more trim. Trim pod. So we'll go. Yeah, we're getting one seven. Oops, got off. These little screws are so hard to turn one-handed. Okay, one eight. Well, you get the idea. I can go up to. I can go up to. I think about eleven or twelve. I will never want it higher than five volts. I don't think. But the current. I want to keep the current around one milliamp to one and a half milliamp. Come on, I can't see. There it goes. And next video I'll set it up for the the current. So this will go up to about twelve I think. Or eleven or so there's gonna be some voltage drop. Uh no twelve. Oh, twelve and a half, almost. Let's see how high it does go. No, that's highest, twelve point three four. Okay, so very little voltage up. Okay, so real happy with this. Of course, I can change my uh, timing uh, with either the main resistor or the capacitor. So, real happy with this. I think it turned out real good. Most of the hard work is all done. Now all I gotta do is go, go into production.